This is Cristiano from Brian Minded, and in this short video I want to show you how to generate a self-signed SSL certificate. I will create it using the OpenSSL command toolkit, and if you want to know more about the OpenSSL command toolkit or you want to download it, you can have a look at OpenSSL.org. Let's start. The first thing we're going to do is to generate a certificate signing request. We'll do so by using the OpenSSL REC program. We will instruct it to generate a new certificate request and also we want a new private uh, public key pair. And we can tell it what kind we want, perhaps using the RSA algorithm and 2048 bit encryption. There we go. Now, without this next option, OpenSSL will encrypt the private key. This means that if you install this certificate on a server, whenever you restart this server, it will ask you for a passphrase in order to decrypt the private key. So putting this option will prevent OpenSSL from encrypting uh, the key. We can also specify the file name for the uh, key file that it's going to be generated and also the file name for the request that we're going to generate. Let's call it CSR. Now, when we run this program, OpenSSL will ask us a few questions, and they're very uh, straightforward. Country name, province, city, organization, name, common name. Now, in this option, I recommend to use the host name of the server that where the certificate is going to be installed. Now, in my case, it will be localhost email address and you can safely skip the last two optional uh, uh, values. Now, if you look at the content of your directory, you should see the new file generated, i.e. the private key file and the certificate signing request. The next step is to generate the actual certificate, and we'll do so by using the OpenSSL X509 program. Now, with this option, the request option, we are telling OpenSSL to use a certificate signing request as an input because otherwise OpenSSL will expect an actual certificate. We'll tell it to uh, create one that is valid for 365 days uh, and uh, we'll also specify the certificate sign request we generated earlier. Like so. And we also tell it to use the uh, key that we generated earlier to sign a certificate. And we can also tell it what file name we want for the output certificate. And after we start the program and look at the content of our directory, we should have a brand new shiny certificate. Thank you very much for listening.